Okay guys, so I'm gonna make some meatballs and I thought it was funny because we're gonna do a taste test of the Rao's um, tomato sauces. Now there's tomato and basil and there's also marinara. Um, and if you look on the Rao's site, Rao, Rao's, excuse me, Rao's site, you will find a recipe section. In that recipe section, they have a meatball recipe that's very similar to the meatballs that my father always made. Now, I can't even give you a recipe for my father's meatballs because it, there is no recipe. You did it by eye, you did it by feel, because sometimes you use four pounds of meat, sometimes you use two pounds, sometimes you use six pounds, sometimes you use eight pounds. Whatever it is, you just feel it, and that's the actual thing. But their recipe is very similar. They don't, my parents did not, they used plain breadcrumbs. They did not use oregano. They did not use Italian spices. A lot of people's people will tell you to buy Italian flavored breadcrumbs, but they make a meatball very much like my father's. So, and I'm going to try it according to them um, because it's very, very similar. The only thing I'm going to add is some granulated onion. I don't like big pieces of onion. I don't like raw or uncooked onion, but basically what their recipe is, now, with the ground beef, you can use all ground beef or you can use a pound of ground beef and a half a pound of veal and a half a pound of pork if you want to. If you don't want to, you can just use all ground beef or a mixture of ground beef. We're going to look into two pounds of meat. And what I'm going to do is we have fresh ground beef that we get right from the farm. Okay, Our ground beef is right from the farm down the road. Okay, So I'm going to put that in there. This is all packaged for us because we buy a, I think it's a half of a cow, a quarter of a cow. Okay. And I'll just clean this up. To that, we're going to add two eggs. Now, my father used to add, whoopsie. That was, not, that was, that was a lucky one. Um, I always thought he added more eggs than that to his, and I would normally probably, if I followed along with my father, add more eggs. Um, but a lot of people only add one egg per pound of beef. I might add four eggs to this. That, that might just be me, okay? Then um, we're going to add about a cup of grated cheese, Parmigiano Reggiano, or you could use Parmigiano Romano, whatever... Italian cheese you like grated, okay? Then, if you have fresh parsley, go ahead and add about a teaspoon and a half. And if you don't have fresh parsley, you can use the dry parsley like I'm going to use because um, I usually grow my own parsley, but I dry it. And then I'm going to use, I don't use salt when I cook, but if you want, you can put a little salt. This is a little black pepper. And... I'm going to add a little granulated onion. This is granulated onion. Just a little bit of that. And I'm going to add a little granulated garlic. Again, you could add garlic if you want, you know, fresh garlic, but I'm just adding the granulated garlic to it. A little bit. And like I said, if you want to add oregano and things like that, you can. I'm not going to. We're going to add, oops, the rest of my cheese is there. I'm going to add two cups, around two cups of plain breadcrumb. You could go ahead if you like the Italian uh, breadcrumbs. You could add those if you want. Some people, have, again, we talked about soaking the bread. And then um, you're going to start with your milk, which they have water, but I don't ever put water in there. So I'm going to put, you want them on the wet side, not the dry side. So I'm just going to add, again, I never have measured, but since you guys are watching and a lot of times you guys, you know, want, want something in a recipe, but I'm going to start with about one cup of milk, even though it's 
calling for about two. So I just, I'm gonna cook them in the oven. You can fry them. I am gonna take off my rings. Make sure your hands are clean, obviously. Okay, and you're going to mix it with. Okay, so sorry, I think my video ended abruptly there. Um, you're going to mix it with your hands. No Italian is gonna make um, meatballs and not mix them with their hands. <laughs> A real Italian. You, you're not going to mix these with a spoon. You have to feel it. Now, that was, um, like I said, that was one cup of milk, but I'm probably going to add a little more here. My stuff is falling out. I should have probably grabbed a bigger bowl. You want to make sure this is all incorporated in there together. Now, again, I'm going to cook these in the oven, and then I'm going to cook my pasta and then I'm going to cook the sauce. Now they said to use the marinara with this according to their recipe. I have other people that say use the tomato and basil. They have exactly the same ingredients. They look pretty much the same. I don't think there's going to be any really big difference. Um, but you can eat these like when I was a kid I only ate meatballs um, dry. You know when I mean dry without being in the tomato sauce. So my father would always make some plain for me that I would eat right as they were being fried. And then um, some in the tomato sauce. As I got older, I loved them in the tomato sauce. I would still eat a dry one, but I loved them in the tomato sauce. I have my Ethan who only eats them dry, no sauce. So I'm going to put them in the oven and I'm going to add a little more milk to this. Um, let me just grab this right here. Do the rolling of the meatballs for you on Sunday because I had to put these in. They're a little bit bigger than some of the not so uniform, but I'm, I'm baking them in the oven. Okay, so I have both of the Rayo's sauces. I have two bottles of each and this is the tomato and basil and this is the marinara now on again the website they're putting the marinara they have exactly the same ingredients and so they look very much the same this one may look a tad darker than the other one but not really they look exactly similar so I don't know which one to taste test um, I'm imagining maybe we should just do the marinara since that's the one that they put with their meatballs. I'm going to check it out. Uh, there's one here, tomato and basil. Last night I was smelling it through the bottle. I'm not smelling either one of these, but last night I was. Let me see if it was this one over here. It was one of these. But anyway, so I think I will open up the um, marinara now because you're going to want two of them for your sauce. And I'm going to start. One, I think. And just put it and start warming it up. And then put it into here. So, so just open that, and you can see. Wow, it smells really good. I don't know how. My daughter's saying this is not. Smell this. Smells really good. Well, it smells good. That's what I just said. Really it good. smells Fishy. really good. Yes. Careful, careful. It smells good. It smells like salt. I know, I know. It smells like good. What are you doing, Luke? Looking at it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a drop of water in here just to clean out this jar. I'm gonna shake it up and then get the rest out of there. And then you're gonna need like two to do the meatballs, they say. Okay, so. 
I hate doing this. Bye. So I hate wasting the sauce. It seems so good now. But I'll have to buy more. Which... So. Start with. I want to oh, okay. Let me just do it because I don't want to get. Blah, 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 blah. I don't want to splash it all over the place. I'm not. See? Okay, I'm going to put it onto Fine. the stove. Now. Okay. So, um. It really smells good. It smells like... It does. Uh, it's like sausage or something. I don't know. Something good. Mm -hmm. Something good. So I'm going to start simmering that sauce. I have my meatballs cooking and I apologize. I had to change my cameras. I was trying to do it on my phone and then my phone started saying that... Um, now I don't know about the tomato and basil and I will do a tomato and basil test when I, um, you know, do that, but that is really good sauce. Really, really good. I mean, without even tasting it, it's delicious. I don't know how my daughter was saying, you know, that she's Italian and like I'm not, like she's adopted or something, I, I don't know. Uh, I wonder if she tried this. She's coming, she's coming home um, the beginning of April so if I really ouch I just dropped the uh, thing I was cleaning the counter with if I really like this then I will uh, do it you know with her again because I, I I think then she just because you know one time she brought me a sauce she said was like oh my gosh it's like the best thing ever from Trader Joe's and I didn't think it was the best thing ever so and it could have been a bad time for me or not but I'm going to let this simmer a little bit. I'm going to take a little taste. That is really good sauce. That is really good sauce. That is really good. Oh my gosh, that is good. That's just like homemade. Okay, hang on. Okay, so we've got this. Okay, so here's some cheese. We've got the sauce and the meatballs. I'm gonna let it cool off before I put that in my mouth, honey. Okay, I'm it's gonna. It's gonna be so hot. Okay. Good. Very good. Try it with the meatballs. I'm like leaning over the counter. Very good. So I'll try the tomato and basil. I'll let um, them try it. Do you, do you guys want to try it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Here, Luke, I'm going to try a piece without uh, cheese on it right here. This. You try it first. Okay, I'm going to try it. I don't want cheese. First. Why do people do that? They'd be fancy it's, then. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't stick out everywhere. Let me see. Let me try it. It's very fun size. It's very good. Let me try some. Well, cheese. Okay, I'll get some pasta right some here. For me. I'll get it right here. I gotta put some of, something in the spaghetti because it's gonna stick. Okay, I'll take care of it. Let's give this to Luke. I can do it. Is it good? Mmm. Mmm. Good. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Yes? Mm-hmm. The meatball is really good, too. Okay. Thumbs up. That's really good, guys. Very, very good, honey.